We're on email, scientific officer at France Energy Marine, and today I will present you the June project. One of the ob objectives of this project is to better understand submarine June's dynamic to prevent their effect on offshore renewable energy components. We are working on this topic with Thierry Garland, Aurélien Gangloff, Olivier Blampin, and Sophie Lebot. First, first, I will define an, an hydraulic dune. They are sedimentary structures composed by mostly sand, and they are shaped by the combination of an unidirectional current, tide, but also by waves. We define tunes by their wavelengths and their height. They are composed by a crest, a throw, a stoss side, and a lee side. Here, vertical scale is exaggerated. In reality, dunes are almost flat. At the left, you can see a transverse dune with its crest and small ripples developed on it. The current direction is perpendicular to the ridge crest. At the right, there is the bathymetrical data of a barcan located off Dunkerque. Barcan are crescent-shaped and occur when the thin stock is important. You can see here a physical modeling of sand dunes dynamic in a flume with unidirectional current. Dunes are going fast. Shum studied 15 dunes of Calais, and the speed was up to three, uh, 34 meters per year, and in mean, 6.3 to 13.2 meters per year. So it's really fast regarding a geological scale. The Champ developed for a few years a GIS, which map the ridge crest of all the dunes. They list more than 15,000 dunes. And this work is made from all the bathymetrical survey in the North Sea, the Channel, and the Celtic Sea. In France, dunes are located in the continental shelf between Le Ras de Saint and the North Sea. Here, in B de Seine, the currents are too strong to dunes, for dunes to develop. Dunes are issue for offshore renewable energy. In fact, cable buried in dune can be exposed to currents and wave action after dune displacement. Here, you can see the scored area. Scoring can also occur around foundation of wind farm. This can cause troubles to foundation stability. Scoring can be managed by score protection, but the dynamics of the dune must be well understood in order to dimension this, this type of technique as accurately as possible. The opposite mechanism also occur. With tune dynamic, can cables can be buried deeper. This can cause an increase of cable heat. Developers also need to know the precise bathymetry to prepare wind farm building. That's why they need to know precisely where the dunes are going to size the dredging needs. In order to better understand submarine dunes' morphodynam morphodynamic to prevent the effect of offshore renewable energy components, the project dunes was launched in 2019 for three years. The project is focused on the future area of the offshore wind farm of Dunkerque. There is a remarkable dune field in this area. The scientific management is run by the SHOM and the coordination by FEM. 
project funding is around 1.2 million euros. Three postdoctoral positions joined FEM to work on this project. As June is a collaborative project, nine par partners are working on it. June, June faces to two major challenges. Working on a, in a highly dynamic environment with strong currents and waves, but also record the displacement of the dunes and leak it to extreme events, storm or extreme tide. To answer to these challenges, we develop a specific approach. We carry out bathymetric survey four times per year with a night spatial resolution. You can see here the three boxes representing three different types of dune, dunes. These boxes are located at the, the path of the cable, the, of the future cable of offshore, offshore wind farm. We will also record physical processes as wave and tidal currents with ADCP. You can see here the GeoSurveyor 11 from, the, from GeoXYZ who run the bathymetrical surveys. During winter 1920, we performed three surveys. One initial survey in November, one in March after a windy winter, and one in April. You can see here the weather and the tide condition during this winter. April survey is a record of one extreme tide, but also one storm with speed with uh, wind with wind speed higher than 90 kilometers per year, per hour. This is the bathymetrical data of the box one located at the south of the future connecting, connecting cable path. This survey was processed in November. You can see several backend and also a trench that, a tre um, but also trenches that were probably dug by a troll. This trench is 0.5 meters deep. First, you can note that the trench is gone in March. This means that in this area, at least 0.5 meters of sediment has been completely reworked. In addition, you can note the progradation of the system to the east. Between March and April, there is almost no changes. Here are the bat bathymetric profiles of box one. They were made perpendicular to the June ridge line. In green, the profile of November and respectively in blue and black, the profile of March and April. You can see that dunes are progressing to the east between November and March. The recorded displacement is around 15 meters. There is an accretion of the dunes of about 20 cm between March and April. This is the bathymetrical survey of the box 2, located in the middle of the cable route. It's the end of a sandbank and it had a particular shape with transverse dunes and small ripple developed on it. Between November and March, there is a change in dune organization and also the system moved to the east. Between March and April, the system changed also and moved to the west. Let's see now the bathymetrical profile. The bathymetrical profile confirms the dune migration to the east during the winter 
And surprisingly, dunes are deplacing to the west between March and April. Between November and March, the dune has moved 61 meters to the east, and between March and April, they move 43 to the west. In conclusion, between November and April, they move only 18 meters to the east. This data set shows the importance to survey frequently dunes to record the precise move displacement, their precise displacement. The box 3 is located at the future place of the power substation. The area is relatively stable. The bathymetric profile shows also this stability. The system moves slowly to the east and the dune crest is a little bit eroded during the winter. In conclusion, dunes are progressing toward the east with different speeds between 12 and 146 meters per year. So it's really important in regard of the data set of Calais that I showed you before. During the winter 2021, we will deploy a DCP in two boxes to collect data on hydrodynamic, so on waves and also on tidal current to link it to dune displacement. We will also continue to survey the three boxes to follow dune displacement. Next, we will connect these results on dune morphodynamics to the ecological data set to understand dune's habitat. At the, at the right, you can see small shell of benthic organism in sand from dunes of Calais. To conclude, I show you some benthic species that live on the submarine dunes of Dunkerque. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>